Welcome to another episode of The U. My name's Robert Whitaker. Today, I'm gonna to show you what Ansible is. So what is Ansible? So Ansible is a configuration management tool. And from a high level, the way it works is you execute a file called a playbook, and then that playbook can quickly configure several devices at the same time. And so one of the main benefits of Ansible is it will help you scale your configuration. Another benefit of Ansible is you can use it to automate the configuration of a lot of different Cisco products and a lot of different vendors' products as well. Another benefit of Ansible is it's agentless. So if I have four routers, notice there's no Ansible agent or special software installed on them. Ansible will simply configure the devices via SSH or their REST API. And my favorite benefit is you can use Ansible to automate even if you have no programming experience. So I'm gonna show you what Ansible is in four simple steps. Step number one will create an Ansible control node. Step number two will create an inventory file. Step number three will create a playbook. And then step number four will execute that playbook against a router. Now, if you wanna follow the steps that I go through, you'll need access to Ubuntu Linux. So in this video right here, I show you how to install Ubuntu Linux on your PC. Just watch the first four steps in this video. And then when you're done, come back to this Ansible video and continue where you left off. I'll include a link to the Linux video in the show notes. I'll also include another link if you want to install Ansible on a Mac. So let's go to step number one. Let's create our Ansible control node. Now the Ansible control node is the device where we install Ansible. So I'm connected to my Linux machine. I'm going to turn this into my Ansible control node. First, we need to download packages using the apt-get update command. We downloaded packages. Next, we'll install Ansible. So we'll type the apt install Ansible command. So Ansible's downloaded and notice we get prompt to continue the installation. We type the letter Y to continue the install. We then run the Ansible version command and we can see Ansible's been installed. Next, let's run a couple other commands to finish setting up our Ansible control node. So we'll need to install pip and then we'll use pip to install the Paramico package. Now we're installing Paramico because Ansible uses Paramico to SSH into routers but we now have our Ansible control node, it's ready. Next, we'll move to step number two, we'll create an inventory file. Now an inventory file is a file that contains a list of devices that Ansible can manage. So I'll use the code inventory command to open up and create a new file called inventory. And here's the inventory file, it opened up in Visual Studio Code. Now if you don't have Visual Studio Code installed, you can instead use another text editor to create your inventory file. Next, I'll tell Ansible what device it can manage by filling out the inventory file. So we're gonna have Ansible manage the always on iOS router sandbox device. I'll put a link to access this device in the show notes. But in line one of the inventory file, I put in the device's hostname, the device's username, the device's password, and the device's operating system. I then save the file. So let's move to step number three. We're now gonna create our playbook. First, let's define what a playbook is. So a playbook is a file where you declare your configuration. Now playbooks are written in YAML, and when the playbook is run, Python modules are executed in the background. So let's go through a walkthrough so we can see how this works. So when you, the Ansible admin, works with Ansible, you're gonna interact with YAML playbooks on the Ansible control node. And inside of the playbook, you as the admin specifies which Python modules that you want to run. So in this example, you're specifying the iOS config Python module. And when you run the playbook, the Python modules in the playbook get executed in the background on the Ansible control node. And then those Python modules then configure our devices. And so this is really a key point with Ansible. With Ansible, you get the simplicity of working with YAML, but you get the automation benefits of working with Python. Okay, so let's create our playbook. We'll call it snmp.yaml. So this creates and opens up an empty file for us. Next, I'm gonna copy this YAML text from GitHub, and I'm gonna paste it inside of my playbook. Now, if you wanna follow along, I'll put a link to the GitHub repo in the show notes. Now, let's break down this playbook from a high level. So the entire file is my playbook, and the intent of this playbook is to configure SNMP on a router. Now, in Ansible, a playbook is made up of plays, and plays are made up of tasks. Next, let's go over important lines inside of the playbook. So in line one, we created a play and we named it view and deploy SNMP. In line two, we specify the host name of the router we wanna configure. Next, we'll define our task. 
So here we're creating our first task called configure SNMP. And right here under the task, we specify the Python module we want to run. So we want to run the iOS config Python module. And then in the rest of the lines, we specify the two parameters or commands that we want to pass into the iOS config module. So here is the first command and here is the second command. Okay, let's go to step number four. We're going to run the playbook. Now, when we run our playbook, Ansible is going to SSH into the router to configure it. But before we actually run the playbook, we actually need to manually establish an SSH session from our Ansible control node to our router. If we don't do this, we're going to get an error when we're running our playbook. So from our Ansible control node, let's manually SSH to the router. Okay, we connected to the router. Next from the router, let's run the show SNMP community command. And we can see there's no SNMP configuration currently on it. Okay, let's go back to our Ansible control node. Now we're going to run the playbook using the Ansible playbook command. We then specify minus I and specify the name of the inventory file we created earlier. And finally, we specify the name of the playbook. We hit enter. Our playbook is running. And there we go. There we go. Our playbook ran OK. Now, if we look at the output here, we can see task number one. Inside task number one, there was a configuration change on our router. Okay, now that we ran our playbook, let's go back to our router and rerun the show SNMP community command. We can now see there's SNMP configuration pushed out to this router. Very cool. When you're running your playbook, you might have gotten an error like this. And if you got this error, it's probably due to an indentation issue within your playbook. YAML relies heavily on indentation. So in this playbook, I deliberately made a mistake. Notice how the dashes in line 10 and line 11, they're not indented consistently. And this indentation inconsistency, it confuses Ansible. Essentially, Ansible is confused about which commands it should run. So to resolve the issue, we would need to realign the two dashes so they're indented consistently. And we also want to make sure all the text within our playbook is indented consistently as well. If there's just a little indentation issue, Ansible is going to throw an error when we run the playbook. Okay, so what should you do next to learn more about Ansible? There's really two good resources. So there's DevNet Sandboxes and there's Ansible documentation. So first, I would start at the DevNet Sandbox website and search for the product you want to automate. So I'm going to search for iOS. And notice there are several iOS virtual routers that I can use. I'll include a link to the DevNet Sandbox website in the show notes. Next, you then want to reference the Ansible module documentation for your product. So I'm looking at Ansible's network module documentation for all the different platforms. I'll put a link to this site in the show notes. But if I go down this page and I look to the left over here, I can see all the different platforms Ansible has Python modules for. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to select iOS. And maybe I want to use the iOS command module right here. So this module enables you to send show commands to a router. So I click on it. And here's the documentation for the iOS command module. If I scroll to the bottom of the page, I see all these great examples of how to use the iOS command module. So I could take this example of this task using the iOS command module and copy it to my clipboard. And then I could paste it into my current playbook. And then I can make edits to the task as needed. So maybe I want to change the show version command to the show SNMP community command. So when working with Ansible, you're frequently going to copy tasks from Ansible's documentation and paste it into your playbook and edit it as needed. But using DevNet sandboxes with Ansible module documentation is a great place to start. Now, there are a lot of other Ansible resources. So you can also go to u.cisco.com and search for Ansible. And there's a lot of great Ansible content there. Also, I teach the ACI and the Enterprise Networking Automation courses. We cover Ansible extensively in both of those courses. If you're interested in learning more about the courses, I'll put a link to the courses in the show notes. Also, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. I post my videos on there too. I'll put a link to my LinkedIn profile in the show notes. Also, if you like this video and want to see more of these videos in the future, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Okay, that's all I have, everyone. I hope this was useful, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thank you.